Hello from Shrix and hello from Smartherd. What's up folks? Welcome back to Android app development tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about implicit intents in brief. Now, this is the part 1 tutorial guys. Now, let's continue. In the tutorial number 21 and 22, we discussed about what are intents and what are the two types of intents. Earlier, we saw what is explicit intents and where we use it and how we use it. Now it's time to discuss about implicit intents. Now the question arises, where do we use implicit intents? Suppose you are making an application and in that application you are having a button and when the user press that button you want the user want to send an email through your application. So what you are going to do? Now in such situation it is it is quite hectic for the developer to design a separate application to send an email. Now what you can do you can so in such situation you need not design a new application to send an email. You can use the existing email application in smartphone to send an email. Now the existing email application such as Yahoo Mail, Gmail or any other application that the user is having in his smartphone he or she can use that application to send the email direct from your own application. Now for this purpose we need the implicit intents which actually saves our time and effort of the developer. So user can send an email or user can send an SMS or he can share a, share a message to his friends through the external application that is saved in your phone. Fine, now let's proceed. Now here is a brief description, the two branches of intents, implicit intents and explicit intents. Now we saw before explicit intent is used to launch an activity or migrate from one activity to another. But at the same time it is also used to start the broadcast receivers or to start any services. Fine. Now this implicit intents as you can see map geolocation, dial a call, launch website in web view. Now if user clicks a button in your application then you can make user to open a google chrome browser or any other browser to view a website or he can straight away directly call any user through your application or he can migrate direct from your application to your google map to check out the location of a particular coordinate. Now. Now let me show you a practical example where you have encountered the implicit intents as an user. Now as a user when you are using any application and you want to share a message then on the press of this button you must have saw these kind of pop up coming out. Now on the click of the button you want to share a particular message then sometimes you must have seen a pop up occurs send via Bluetooth, Facebook, Gmail, Google Plus messaging. Now if you select this Gmail then your message that you want to share will automatically be set up in your Gmail application or suppose you want to send a message via messaging or you can say SMS then if you click on this messaging option then your messaging will straight away be stored inside your inbuilt key application of messaging and from there you can add a contact number and send that message to that particular number. Similarly here also only the looks are different but the stuff are same. You want to share a message, Bluetooth, email or many other applications are there or many other messaging applications are here. This is Facebook Messenger guys. So in this way a particular message can be shared among any user present in any of these applications. Now next, suppose you are having your application. Suppose this is an intent demo application. You have designed this application for the user. Now here you have provided what? An edit text. The user can enter a number here. Now when the user press this dial button then user will be straight away redirected to make a call using the internal dialer application. You can check out here this number and this 554 do not match. This is just an explanation guys. So if you enter a number here then if you press the dial button then your application will redirect user to the internal application and through the dialer application the user can make a call to this number. Fine. So this was all about the implicit intents 
which I explained you in brief. There are lots of things to talk about in the implicit intents guys. I am just showing you the practical examples. How to do it and what is implicit intents and what is it all about. Now for the quotes guys, I will show you quotes, how to send an email, how to send an SMS, how to redirect your application, to rate your own application in the play store or how to show a specific location in the Google Maps. So till then guys, stay tuned, catch you guys in the next video and please don't forget to leave a comment below my video. And do like and share my video guys. This is Shrakes from Smarter signing off and thanks for watching. Have a good day.